In the opinion of the chair, two thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended. The bill is passed and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Does the gentleman from New York seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and agree to House Resolution 358, calling on the government of Cameroon and armed groups to respect the human rights of all Cameroonian citizens to end all the violence and to pursue a broad-based dialogue without preconditions to resolve the conflict in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. The clerk will report the title of the resolution. House Resolution 358, resolution calling on the government of Cameroon and armed groups to respect the human rights of all Cameroonian citizens, to end all violence, and to pursue a broad-based dialogue without preconditions to resolve the conflict in the northwest and southwest regions. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from New York, Mr. Engel, and the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Smith, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from New York. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous content, consent that all members of five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on House Resolution 358. Without objection, so I, ordered. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of this measure and, as I mentioned before, yield myself as much time as I may consume. I want to to start by thanking Ms. Bass and Mr. Smith for bringing forward this resolution which calls on the government of Cameroon and armed groups to respect the human rights of all Cameroonian citizens, to end all violence, and to pursue a broad-based dialogue without preconditions to resolve the conflict in the Anglophone regions of Cameroon. Since October 2017, the region has has been mired in conflict with both the governments of Cameroon and armed separatists fighting one another and perpetrating human rights abuses. While armed actors refuse to pursue a negotiated settlement of the conflict, innocent civilians continue to suffer. According to UNICEF, more than 80% of the schools in the Anglophone regions of Cameroon remain closed, putting at risk the future prospects of children who are being denied access to education. In addition, 1.3 million people, including approximately 650,000 children, are in need of humanitarian assistance. This resolution urges the government of Cameroon to respect the fundamental rights of all Cameroonian citizens and follow through on initiatives developed to address grievances in the Anglophone region. It also urges separatist groups to engage with Cameroonian government officials, civil society, and religious leaders to express grievances and engage in efforts to resolve the conflict and to stop committing human rights abuses and incite violence. For several months, the Swiss government has been attempting to mediate a peaceful resolution to this crisis, and I'm pleased this resolution demonstrates Congress's strong support for negotiations. Settlement. I'm glad to support this resolution and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from New York reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 358, calling on the government of Cameroon and armed groups to respect fundamental human rights. and pursue dialogue to resolve the crisis in the Anglophone region of that country. I especially want to thank Congresswoman Bass, Karen Bass, the chairwoman of the Africa Global Health Global Human Rights uh, Subcommittee, of which I serve as the ranking member uh, for this resolution. It's a bipartisan
resolution. And again, I thank her for her leadership. Mr. Speaker, I would note that in the last Congress, I chaired a hearing on the Cameroon crisis as it was festering, seeking a way forward for peace. Sadly, that, that effort and all efforts made by the international community uh, have been elusive thus far. The conflict in Cameroon has its roots in long simmering tensions between that country's francophone majority and the anglophone minority concentrated in the northwest and southwest regions. In 2016, protests by anglophone teachers and lawyers over marginalization and the lack of government services were met with a heavy-handed response. The government failed to genuinely address those legitimate grievances, which further inflamed tensions. Brutal fighting between government security forces and local armed groups who called for separatism continues. Today, there are over 500,000 displaced persons in the Anglophone region. Mr. Speaker, entire communities have been burned to the ground. Humanitarian convoys struggled to reach local populations are even blocked and attacked by armed groups. Over half of the health facilities and hospitals have been damaged and forced to close. Children have been out of school for over two years. According to the U.S. Department of State, the Human Rights Report for 2018, and I quote, government security forces were widely believed to be responsible for disappearances of suspected Anglophone separatists with reports of bodies dumped far from the site of the killings to make identification difficult, close quote. This in turn is fueling resentment and separatist violence. This resolution reiterates US, the US position that all parties must immediately cease fighting and to come to the negotiating table without, I say again, without preconditions. The Swiss-led mediation process is a hopeful step in that direction, which deserves support. I would also note the critical role that has been played by the Catholic Church, in particular Cardinal Toomey, in trying to reach common ground and the need to support such efforts. Hopefully by weighing in, Congress can help promote the cause of peace and justice in the Republic of Cameroon. I urge my colleagues to support it and I reserve the balance of our time. The gentleman from New Jersey reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Yeah, I have no other speaker, so I reserve for the purposes of clothing, closing. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from speaker, New Jersey. Speaker, we have no further speakers. So I, I, we yield back the balance of our time. The gentleman from New Jersey yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from New York is recognized to close. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. I again want to thank uh, Ms. Bass and Mr. Smith for their hard work. 
Um, again, as I mentioned before, Mr. Smith is always working very, very hard to, to be on the side of justice. Uh, for too long, the people in Cameroon's Anglophone region have been marginalized by the Cameroonian government. And since 2017, conflict between the government and separatists have brought, brought chaos and fear to those living in the region. This resolution supports a negotiated settlement to the conflict that respects the basic human rights of its citizens so Cameroon can become a country that is more peaceful and stable. I urge all members to join me in supporting this bipartisan piece of legislation. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from New York yields back the balance. of his time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and agree to House Resolution 358? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the